we want to prove that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So let's draw a random triangle. This is a very random triangle. And let's label the vertices A, B, and C. And we want to show, we want to show that the angle A, the angle A, let's, let's call it A for the sake of it, and angle B, let's make it blue for B, and angle C, let's make it, let's make it magenta or purple. Uh, we want to show that A plus B plus C, we want to show that A plus B plus C is 180 degrees. We want to show that this thing is 180 degrees. And the first thing you, you may realize is that 180 de degree is halfway, halfway around the line. So if we, if we have a random line like this, you know the here to here is 180 degrees. Because you know all the way around, all the way around, so if you're going all the way around, by definition that is 360, and since you're only going half the way around, 360 divided by 2 gets you 180. So if we can somehow show that A, B, and C, if we can somehow show that A, B, and C, maybe divide, maybe divide the rotation about the line into maybe three pieces like this, that's A, that's B, that's C, then we know A plus B plus C is 180 because uh, go adding them up, you're going halfway around the line, so you know that's 180. But can we can we show that A, B, and C are can be can be placed adjacent, can be placed next to each other like this, such that their sum is 180 and they make up one line when when you connect them like this? And it turns out we can. And usually 99% of the time, when you want to produce equal when you want to produce equal angles, you want to use parallel lines. Almost always, when you want to produce equal angle, parallel lines is the way to go. Because when we draw a parallel line, let's draw it through B and let's make it parallel to AC. So let's draw a line that is parallel to AC that's going through B. You know, you know, because this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles, you know they have to be the same. So you know, you know this angle is A because they are on the opposite sides of each other and obviously they look the same and it turns out they are and on this side we have we have a transversal going bc and we know by alternate interior angles once again we know this thing is c because they are on the opposite sides in, inside of inside of the uh, between the parallel lines so we have a plus b plus c gets you halfway get you halfway around the circle and obviously by definition of halfway around the circle that they have to add up to 180 degrees and we have proved this